Okay, let's see. Hopefully this video won't be as long or as large. I'm still experimenting with the settings on my camera. Um, I thought I'd show you, okay, I've got the middle off, and I've run a feeder line here. You can see where I've tie-strapped it right along to the tube, uh, to the main frame, just like uh, the stock harness here. Um, so you actually, you know, it's it won't take up any space. Then I run it up, and it's coming out of the uh, the little hole in the battery compartment. You can see here I've got an inline 30 amp fuse that will go here. Um, I'm actually probably either going to mount it here like this, or I guess I should say like this, um, or possibly along the side. But this will uh, feed from the feeder line straight to the uh, battery terminal, or, or not to the terminal, but to a uh, to like a ring terminal, and then onto the battery. Uh, the feeder hose is 10 amp. It's uh, Anchor Marine Wire. It's already tinned. Um, I'll be doing a thing here just shortly about soldering, but just to give you an idea, in case you don't know what tin means, um, if you take a normal wire you, and you kind of pluck it like this, you might see how it would just kind of fan out and it would be uh, copper colored and you can see that this is actually kind of silver and what they've done is each of the wires here is coated with a metal and that's what makes it sturdier and also a little bit a uh, little bit more conductive but I'm going to tin it, tin it again myself when I solder it and I'll be showing how to tin with, uh, with solder um, just because that's a really handy trick that uh, actually Old as Dirt showed me and uh, it's it's a skill that takes a few minutes really to learn. It's not hard to learn, but it's handy when you're soldering. And what I've done, I'm gonna try to show you. The lighting's really bad, but the feeder line goes along the tube here. It's tie strapped to the harness, so it's nowhere near the mechanisms as far as the tilt lock and the suspension. It comes through the through the uh, center here and I've got a lot of extra just in case uh, but it will actually attach to a fuse block which will rest here inside the uh, front fairing and then um, the whole point of a fuse block is basically you'll have your positive from your battery going into the fuse block you also have your negative bus um, from the fuse block uh, always try to get a fuse block with a negative bus terminal and then it it will actually ground to the frame and what that will allow me to do is every peripheral that I want to add um, that I want to use relays to adjust when they come on and when they're powered will just I only have to run a wire like say from the stable horn which is going to be right here will only have to go from here to the fuse block I won't have to constantly run wires to the battery wires to the battery everything will just it's kind of like having a, a battery terminal right here that's grounded and protected and has fuses for each separate wire so it's it's like a central hub that makes everything easier and that's it for now